wins, or at least substantially so. Hair on afraid, got in a couple of decent blows. Much affected. But Duran, very aggressive and looking for an early kill. Getting that left in. Picking off a half blow. Again, getting the left in, and again. Hare's face already red. David Goodwin is Hare's manager. He's in Hare's corner. What I like about Hare, no matter how quickly this fight might end, is his evident cover and scores for the right and the left, and then a double left. Solidly. What the cat throws punches, but Duran is picking them off in the main. There's a good right by Duran and a good left. Air got in a left. There has been the picture of Drew Grit with a little less than a minute and a half left in the second round. Right by Duran, got right through the gloves of Hare. And another one. Now Hare trying to cover. That's when Duran goes to the belly. A good combination. Duran pounding the opponent. But no knockdowns yet. Second round action. And Hare fighting back. But notice, missing. That's what you must look for carefully. And in Hare's case, they have been relatively few. Not a lot of movement, just two men trading punches. But Duran doing most of the scoring. And that hold, Duran against the ropes. Half through six blows, landed two. Five seconds left in the second round. To the end of round two. Good, right, eight. And that stung hair. Watches Duran fight. One gets his enormous power for a man in a lower weight classification. See that left? So short and straight. Against an opponent he respected for Duran better than he is against Jimmy Hare. Left in that twice and again twice. Air picked that one off. Air receiving the punches, not going. Through. That left and right combination. Stung Air. He backed off. Now crouching in the corner, right above us. And Duran wants to finish him now if he can. Make no mistake about that. The uppercut, then down to the belly. When Air covers. Down to the stomach goes Duran, then up again. He'll go to the uppercut any second. It's another trademark of Duran's, the versatility of weaponry. The uppercut, the, he's got them all. But Hare incredibly fights back with a minute 20 left in round four. Even throws some punches. Right up a cut up by Duran. He must, I'll tell you, Jimmy Hare with blood now coming out under the right eye. Jimmy Hare can absorb punishment. Still trying, still fighting. Of course, even more, one has to wonder about the almost awesome ability to absorb punishment. The right lead again caught Hare unawares. Tremendous round for Roberto Duran. And still, no knockdowns in the fight. Hare becomes more and more a sitting duck, to use a phrase I used earlier, for the right lead. Hare, an exhausted fighter, but now and yet, the right eye is all but closed. Some of the swings from Hare are now wild. Oh! 
thing to admire his excellence. It's another thing to consider why a match like this is made. Eighth round action. I said each round an instant replay. And if poor Jimmy Hare lasts the fight, he should get a couple of battle stars. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful to watch if you're talking pure boxing science to see the way Duran goes downstairs and how quickly he gets back upstairs as there. Burying the right into the gut and then the left. Brutal, isn't it? Just brutal. There keeps swinging purposely, purposelessly. See Duran come up with those punches to the head. And so Jimmy Hare will last the eighth round. I've never seen anything more brutal than that in all my years of covering boxing, and that goes back more than 25 years. In round decision, I called it a shutout. 